Hey guys, so in this video today, I'm going to be discussing the different modes of public transport system and how you can navigate Metro Manila. Now, when I moved here as an American expat, it was quite an adjustment and there weren't a lot of resources online. And so I found some ways to utilize the public transport system. And in this video, I'm going to show you them as well as the cost breakdown. Now you might notice some writings on vehicles this is actually their bus route information, so pay special attention to that whenever you are using public transport systems. There's also a phone number usually that's listed on the vehicle that you can call. Now, I've done this in the past and the phone numbers are not always up to date, so just keep that in mind. And when in doubt, feel free to ask the bus driver. They're usually more than happy to help you out. Buses seem to be one of the more popular options for commuting, probably due to the longer bus routes. You can expect to pay approximately 50 to 150 pesos per ride. These buses are filled to capacity, utilizing standing room as well, so it can get quite crowded. And at around 5 p.m., it's not uncommon to be waiting in lengthy lines for up to an hour or so. So I would highly suggest avoiding these during prime traffic time if you can. Part of my leg to the clinic where I volunteer, I use a tricycle. The tricycle is nine pesos for approximately one kilometer. And depending on the type of tricycle, it can hold six to eight passengers. So I also take the UV Express to get to the clinic and that is air conditioned luckily. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a great spot. Other times you hop on at the very end and you're squeezed in the trunk. Not really, kinda sorta. The Jeepney is a popular and affordable transportation option. It holds up to 24 passengers and it doesn't have any AC so just make sure to bring a mask, especially for times of heavy traffic just because of the pollution. You can also use a motorbike for transportation. It's going to be more expensive than any shared ride option, but it will be cheaper than a taxi or grab. This clip is me on a motorbike, so definitely quicker uh, when you're in traffic, but not for the faint of heart. A useful app to have here in the Philippines is the Sakai app. You can go ahead and put your point of origin and your destination, and it'll give you the different routes with different prices for public transportation. And this is how much it costs to get a grab right now at 6.16 p.m. So as you can see, it's about double the cost of the bus was using the Sakai app um, and even more for the taxi. And this little red light right here is showing me that right now prices are higher.